Hey guys, I'm back with another video and if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this 36 inch HD lace front box braided wig I received from Amazon. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. So this is the package I received from Amazon through Festa Hair. They gave me a wig cap and also some lashes. And guys, this HD box braided hair went crazy. The parts were so defined and this is a 36 inch. The hair was super soft and it's already pre-bleached and I'm gonna show you guys how I installed it. Alright guys, now let's get started. The hair already came with some baby edges, that's a good thing. And it also came with an elastic band to make sure that the hair is secure. And I'm going to go ahead and create my bald cap, just cutting two holes on both sides of the ear to make sure that the bald cap is laid flatly on my head. So now that both sides is cut, I'm using my Ebony Wonder Lace Spray in the red can. I love this spray. I think that the red can works better than the other ones because it sticks really, really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that throughout the hairline. To make sure that the bald cap is laid flatly, I'm using a warm temperature. When spraying your cap, you want to make sure that you're using your fingers to spread the product and also to have it stop dripping down your face. You always want to make sure that using a warm temperature while blow drying to make sure that it's fully dry. Now do this about two times. So now that the cap is dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of the access um, cap using my razor. And I also like to make a knot in the back to make sure that the cap is not lifting while my wig is on. So I'm going to come in with my RDF 15 Ruby Kisses, like always, to apply that product all over my bald cap. Now that I'm done applying makeup on my bald cap, I already did the same thing to the wig. And this is how it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the back of the lace of the wig. Now it's time to install the hair, y'all. So this is how it looks when it's on my head. I wanna make sure that I am placing it correctly, making sure that it's comfortable around my ear. This was a tricky part because I was trying to figure out how to apply the wig over my ear, but I ended up figuring it out. So I'm just making sure that everything is placed correctly before I actually lay down the hair. So I'm just coming in with some, my comb to comb out the baby edges. This is how much edges they um, left out for me. And I'm so excited to lay this hair down. And by the way, this unit, the braids are synthetic and the top of the hair is an HD lace front. And guys, I have to say they did their thing with this. The parts were very defined, really, really good. You can see. I got in so many compliments while I was wearing this wig and I'm just like, I gotta put my girls on for you guys can go ahead and check this wig unit out because I am in love with it. I will link everything down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out. So I'm making sure that my wig is placed correctly on my head before I install it. So I did notice that there was a little bit too much cap left on my head. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some off. So I'm just coming in with my scissors to go ahead and cut that off. So 
so now that's done i'm just gonna go ahead and mark where i am going to lay the hair down just to make sure that my placement is correct before i apply the glue and i like doing this because it does guide me to know where to place the lace so this is very helpful I'm coming in with some rubbing alcohol to remove all the makeup access off my forehead because you want to make sure that you do this before you apply your glue. So I'm coming in with my Ghost Bond glue, just applying that glue across the hairline. I'm just going to be using two layers of glue to install this unit. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and spread out the glue. I like to spread the glue out side to side. Don't bring it forward because you don't want the glue to be everywhere. So I'm just only applying two layers. I typically do three to four layers, but I'm not gonna keep this hairstyle for too long, so I'm just only doing two. And you wanna make sure that you are spreading out your glue very even. So I'm coming in with my blow dryer, I'm using a warm temperature. You wanna make sure that your glue is fully dry, making sure that it's tacky um, before you lay down the lace. So I forgot to cut off the ear tab before applying my glue and also laying down the hair. So I do find it easy to always cut off the ear tab because you wanna make sure that the hair is positioned over your ear, very comfortable. So before anything, cut the ear tabs, apply the glue, and then lay down your lace because that's going to be the easier way to do it. Because look at me, I was struggling for a minute. So I'm just going to do that to the other side. Like you guys can see, I was kind of taking my time cutting off the ear tab because it's so important to cut off your ear tab correctly because once you apply your lace, you can definitely see the difference. And if you cut too much of the ear tab, you have an uneven lace. That's why it's so important to mark the position where you're going to lay the lace. I find it very helpful for me, so it could definitely help you out as well too, just to guide you on where to lay down that lace. Now that I'm done cutting off the ear tap, it's time to lay down the hair. I'm just using my finger to press in the glue. And I'm also coming in with my comb to make sure that the glue is pressed into the lace to make sure that everything is secured in place. Now it's time to secure the lace, so I'm just going to keep that in for 10 minutes and blow dry on a cold temperature. Now that I kept that in for at least 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and twist up the baby edges before I can go ahead and cut off the lace. I'm using my scissors to create three sections to make it easier for me to cut off the lace. I like using a razor to cut off the lace because it does give it that natural hairline.
Okay, now that I'm done cutting off the last bit of lace, I'm gonna come in with some rubbing alcohol because the glue did get on my forehead just a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that off. All right, so now it's time to do the edges. The hair was already pre-plugged and they did leave a good amount of edges out for I can style it the way I like. So I'm just combing through that. So I'm using my spritz bottle just to mold down the hair to make sure that it, nothing is lifting. And this is a new thing I started doing and I do see a difference that my wigs do last longer when I use the spritz. So I just put on my elastic band for 10 minutes. Now that it's dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and comb throughout the edges to make sure that there's no glue and nothing's hard. So I'm using my small straightener to curl up the edges. Um, I have to say that the edges weren't curling properly the way I wanted it to be, but it did get the job done, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the edges. The edges did come pre-plugged, so that's a good thing, and they also did leave me a good amount of edges out for I can style it the way I like. So I'm going to go ahead and use some got to be glue gel to lay down the edges and I'm using a little bit of mousse to go ahead and swoop those edges out. So when you're doing your edges, you always want to make sure that you are doing the C motion technique because this is going to allow you to create the perfect edges that you are looking for. So like you can see, I kept going over and over with it because I wanted to style it the way I like. And that's what I'm doing. So like you can see, I place my finger on the hair and I'm just swooping that hair back to make sure that it is swooping what I want in, this, in the right direction. And same goes for the sideburn. You wanna use your finger and create that C motion. And I like to use the comb part and also the brush side, the comb part to you know, comb out the edges and the brush part to actually smooth out the hair. Okay, so this was like kind of the tricky part for me because I usually don't do my edges like this, but I wanted to try something different and be more creative on how I do my edges. So I was trying to create that nice little ring on top of my forehead, but it was not the working the way I wanted to, but this is how it turned out to look. So this is how the baby edges are looking so far and I'm um, once again guys to achieve the perfect baby edges you always want to use that C motion it definitely helps out a lot to achieve the best baby edges.
all right guys so this is how the edges look so far they look so good this is like my first time doing these type of edges and i'm proud of myself that i achieved this look And I definitely know that you guys can too. So now that I kept the elastic band on for at least 10 minutes, I'm going to use my comb to comb through the edges to make them look natural as possible. Okay, so I'm just using a little bit of makeup to go ahead and cover up some of the places that needed to be covered with makeup and boom look at that y'all it's giving so this is the end of the video this wig unit was super easy to install i'll link everything down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out and if you guys enjoy watching this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to hit turn that notification bell button to be notified whenever i post a new video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye